Hello there, this is Lynn Allen. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. Thank you for joining me. But today we're gonna to talk about another express tool because you know how I love my express tools. And this particular express tool really comes in handy in case you have text on your screen, single line text or M text, that you want to number sequentially. Let me show you what I'm talking about. It's gonna make your life so much easier if you ever run into this situation. So I have a variety of text strings on my screen. That's very hard to say. <laughs> and I'm gonna go over to my express tools and I'm gonna to select auto number. And that executes the T count command. Great command, fabulous command. And I'm gonna go ahead and select these text strings over here. And you'll notice I picked them in a specific order. And that's the order it's going to increment them as well. So that's kind of important. Now there's a variety of ways to do this. I'm going to do it by the order that I selected the objects. You can see that down here on the command line, the select order. And then you're gonna tell it the number you want it to start with and the increment. Well, we can start with one, increment by one. That sounds easy enough. Now do I wanna overwrite the existing text? Do I wanna do a prefix, a suffix? We'll, we'll take a look at these various options. I'm gonna start by just saying overwrite, okay? And so you see I got one, two, three, four. Okay, let's undo that. All right, so let's, let's try that again. You'll see these are list routines, which means that they don't work in LT, unfortunately. Most of the express tools don't work in LT. All right, let's try auto number again. Now this time, I'm just going to do what most of us tend to do. We're gonna window it, window or crossing. And I'm gonna go ahead and go with select order again. We'll do the exact same thing. And I want you to see it goes the other way. Because when I put the text on the screen, I did it from top to bottom, which we often do. And the last object that's stored in the database always is the first object to AutoCAD. So you don't wanna do it like that, right? Cause you don't really know what order it's going to come up with. So you always wanna pick them specifically. There's other ways of doing it though. Let me show you another way of doing it. So let's go right back into T-Count. Use your arrow key, Lynn. There we go, there it is. Do it twice, another la lazy thing about AutoCAD. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna window these guys. And you'll see when it asks me how I want to sort these objects, I'm gonna say in the Y, all right? And it actually goes in a decreasing Y level. So I'm gonna say Y, a decreasing. Um, so it should go from top to bottom. We'll do the same, let's do one, and let's say we want it to increment by five, for example. We'll just totally go crazy and shake it up. <laughs> and this time I'm going to do a prefix just to show you what that looks like and you can see that it had the number one and then it added five to it and got six add the next number to it and got 11 and the next number to that and got 16 and it went from the top to the bottom all right so that's a prefix I don't know why you would want to increment by five like that but you could <laughs> so I'm going to undo that all right let's do that one more time let's go into um, t count let's go back into t count I'll pick it on the screen make it easier for you to see and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna select these objects over here. Oh, what happened? That was, you know what, that's the new lasso inside of AutoCAD 2015. We'll talk about that another day, the lasso option, which many of us discovered by accident. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna say, this time I wanna sort in using the X. Okay, so when you pick Y, it goes in descending order. And when you pick X, it goes in ascending order. So it should go from left to right. So I'm gonna say X and uh, let's go, let's start with uh, we'll start with 10 and we'll increment by one. All right, it's gonna start with the number 10 and we're gonna add one to it each time. All right, now let's see what else can we do. We already did prefix, let's do suffix. And you should see it goes from left to right because I selected the, the X and it goes in the positive direction. All right, you following me? It's very easy actually. Okay, let's undo that. So there's one other option that we haven't explored and that is the find and replace. All right, let me show you how that one works. So let's go back into T-Count and I'll pick them manually. Why not? And I want to use the select order, all right? And I'm going to say the start increment of, oh, we'll just say one with an increment of one. All right, why not? Let's make it easy. And let's look at that find and replace. All right, so I'm going to say find. And I want it to replace all of the E's with these numbers, all right? So I'm going to say E, and you'll see that it goes through and it replaces each of the E's with a number and it stair steps it sequentially. All right, did you get that? All right, did I confuse you? I hope I didn't confuse you. If I did, try it yourself, you'll totally get it. It's easy, easy, easy to use, and it will save you time if you find yourself in a situation where you need to be sequentially numbering text objects, okay? It's gonna save you lots of time. It's awesome. Give it a try. We love our Express Tools. Until next time, I hope that you have a great rest of the week.